the best way to learn is looking at the best players out there. Session day will be intense, all done with great speed. It's preparing the body, the mind, the psyche of the player to become involved in multi-directional movements. You know, it's not just a static hold stretch, but there's a dynamic movement that comes with that. Out to the sides, Waza. Squat through there. Forward lunge. Yes, Ray, keep the chest high. Dip it in, drive it back. So it's movement through the range and a controlled movement through the range. And I think that's the idea really of you know preparing and getting the body ready. We like to integrate the, the spark work into to every single session. The key criteria that differentiates the top players from the amateurs is quickness of feet. So you're loading it up and then there's a little acceleration through the red. Nice quick feet, shifted it, shifted it. Quick feet, good, good, good. Footwork is quite narrow and, and small. Build that range up. We all do runs in short areas, short bursts of five seconds, ten seconds. Obviously, during soccer, you know, there's a lot of jumping involved, but it's not necessarily absorbing the force on the way down, but the thing is, you've got to get down and power off again. Shift right, up, shift left. Work your landings. Good. Last exercise. Side on. It's the quickness of that reaction that's the key factor. You're just working your feet, Rio. High knees, side on. Very good. Relax, have a drink. Well, pre-season really is, it gives you the, the base. Obviously, you do a dynamic flexibility warm-up, so it's a question of just getting the neuromuscular system fired up. Then they'll be involved with footwork. Then we're going to bring these into play very quickly. Get a feel for that ball. They've got to feel confident with the ball. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's favourite. He'd drive it in the top corner. Go! Good. Left. Big. Good. We've got to get these joints, the elbows, the hips, the knees, used to hitting the floor again. Hey, Man United now, not let it go. Left and right. Movement. Rapido. Bueno, pues intento estar muy concentrado, intento dar, estar al máximo y, y bueno, pues intentar hacer el, el ejercicio, el ejercicio que sea, pues lo mejor posible. So we always try and keep it very positive, and in the end, we talk about what you have to do mentally, in, individually, and for the team. When they then come to me, I split them up in two groups of, of 11. Uh, two possessions, 5v5 five five plus one. Two short possession blocks, fellas. The first one's 5v5 five five plus one. After that, we're going to play 10v10 10 10 plus two in a bigger, wide area. Four minutes, nice and sharp. Get the ball down and play. That's it. Good. Open out. As soon as you got it, you open out. I think it's just getting used to the ball in tight areas and being able to play your way out of it. The challenge is really to find that extra player all the time. The key is to do everything one touch. Do it again. Early, early. That's it. You bring more players in, you're playing in a bigger area where you're going to combine short, 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 and then find a longer pass out. Well done, good play. Link players in the middle. Good. Supporting that pass all the time. Now can you get it out? Can you get it out? Yes, well done. Switch it. Yes. Keep the quality up, fellas. That's the key, the name of the game. So a lot of the drills that we tend to do with strikers like Wayne Rooney and Xavier Hernandez will work on their quick feet, manipulating the ball, and obviously with a finish. Getting used to combination play um, around the box. You're in a midfield position, you pass it forward into the forward man. He sets it off and then you get a shot at goal. There we go, boom, here, set, Rio, boom, spin, bang, set, and you're in. That's it, brilliant, and finish. We bring it all together with the game uh, at the end with everybody involved. Now you're looking, now you're looking for them patterns. Now you look for them patterns. Well done. 
I think if you watch carefully, you see the eye to detail, the accuracy of the pass, it's the weight of the pass, and the decision making in the games that makes top players stand out from average players. Have the confidence to play yourself out of trouble. Good football, brilliant. That's the sort of combinations we're looking for, fellas. Brilliant. You do nothing for 60 minutes, then you're called upon. Lucky David, out you go. So you've got to have the mental concentration, the physical capability, and then they've got to have quickness. I always look for intensity and quality, and that's the thing you aim for. If you got that, you probably end up with a good session. We really need to ensure that the guys are up to top speed, so we've got to make sure that they're being exposed to high-intensity, high-quality running. There's no shortcut to a footballer. The be-all and end-all is practice. Without practice, there's no enjoyment and there's no fulfilment.